Welcome my Spirit Queen family. I have really exciting news for you. My YouTube channel is accepting special memberships to sponsor my videos. When you become a member by clicking the join button next to subscribe, you will be getting exclusive offers and special perks. For example, you'll be able to be the first ones to watch my videos with the links posted on my community page. I will give you personal shout outs to my haunted members every week. And for my demon members, you will get all of the above plus behind the scenes footage and bloopers of cut out scenes. And best of all, I will email you an autographed personalized photo of me. My videos contain spirituality tutorials, live readings, vlogs, surprise contacts, my podcast exposing fake psychics, crazy adventures, paranormal investigations, and more. I also do live investigations and will take you along with me. With your monthly support, I will be able to continue to make great content and you get to interact with me directly. Those who are animal lovers and reptile lovers will get to see my private collection of snakes, lizards, turtles, chameleons, and more. So please join now and let's grow my channel and community together. I will also take you along with my shows I do. My Spirit Queen family will also learn secrets about spirituality and the paranormal. Members will also have a special badge next to their name anytime they comment on my live videos. So what are you waiting for? Click on that join button now and become part of the Spirit Queen family today. Oh, oh shit, I'm not recording. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm going to get dinner. And that's not very nice to do to your family. <laughs> Smoke your fucking cigarette and drink your goddamn fucking coffee already. Welcome to my life adventures. I'm the one and only Monica the Spirit Queen. I'm a professional psychic medium and a paranormal investigator. My crew and I lurk in the shadows at night hunting spirits and demons. I do readings, break black magic spells, travel, expose fake psychics, and have clients from around the world. I'm no nonsense when it comes to respect and honesty. I have a crazy busy life, but I love it. My family keeps me going with their love and support. I will never give up, no matter what demons I have to face. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to click the join button. I want to let you guys know. Don't forget to click the join button, become a member, because you Does guys it look are- right? I can't see it. Yeah, but you have to be the one to see it. All right. Well, then I can't go far back. You guys have to click that join button, become a member, because you guys will be getting exclusive offers, including... A cool autograph picture of you. Yes. I will be sending you that. Do I get that? Um, you have to become a member, and then I'll send it to you. That's... I'll email it to you. But, um... We just came from the doctors. The whole time I was dreading them. This is just like a routine yearly checkup. Um, but I'm not going to get into details or anything like that. Sorry, hold on one second. Damn, Not for me. I'm getting old. I have a seat of the I'm getting old. I had to see the doctor. <laughs> but anyways, so we um, we were all already dreading because of this whole crap that's going on in this world. I'm not even going to fucking give it attention or go to that or mention that the name of it. Y'all know what we're talking about. <laughs> shit fuck. I call it the shit fuck. So, they, um, you know, when you go to the doctor's office now, it, it's really asinine stupid when they say, oh, we can only see one patient at a time. Dude needs to get a job. Um, one patient at a time. He wasn't social distancing. Please don't use that word. I'm going to punch you in your face. If I hear anybody using that word one more fucking time in front of me. Which one? Social distancing? So help them fucking Satan himself. The social distancing Shut the word? fuck up. Let's see how many times we can sneak it in. Let's do a counter. No, I'm going to kill you. Hey, since McDonald's is on this side of the road, let's go.
go ahead and go there for a minute and get a McDonald's coffee. I hate McDonald's, but they have Viewers, really don't you think we should pull in and get a McDonald's coffee right now? Yes, they do, see? I need coffee. I've had a pounding headache oh. for two days now. It just happens to be on the right side of the road. I know, I know. We're going to go eat. But let me finish the story. Oh, yeah. Don't worry, guys. He has a habit of interrupting at, at any time, every time I talk. I talk. So we go in there, and they said... Oh, oh shit. I'm not recording. You're full of shit. Yeah, I am. I will wait until you're done interrupting. I'm done. Because people are going to comment saying your husband is so rude. You're They're going to so say mean. your husband's so funny. You're so mean. Your you husband's so funny. funny. You are pretty funny. Um, Looking. <laughs> I want that guy's hat. He had a fisherman's hat. Anyways. I got one that's a Lakers hat like that, but you never wear it. Because I forget that you have one. Are you going to tell the story or what? <laughs> if you shut up. <laughs> yes. We go in the doctor's office shut up I, I'm gonna tape your fucking mouth shut and they the doctor said the, I mean the, the people at the front desk I mean of course we have this crap I'm not even gonna mention it and uh, my husband's wearing it it's required I'm not wearing it because I don't believe in this shit it's asinine bullshit around the world that's going on right now I believe I don't believe I believe I believe in what's real and this shit's bullshit but anyways so they, um, <laughs> this woman from the back, this old granny, out of nowhere, comes flying out. She was the Nazi nurse. Yes. She comes flying out of Like she nowhere. was watching you on camera or something. That was and crazy. And she said, ma'am, do you have <clears throat> one of these No, she her? flung the door open where it hit the wall. Boom. And she asked if And I she came flying out and she's like, ma'am, do you got one of those? Just like that. That's how it really happened. You got to yeah. tell the truth. Come on, dude, you gotta get out of the way. Dude, I will run you over. You're not in the car. Don't stop and look at me. Anyways, let me order my coffee first. You know what I want? No. Yeah, your hazelnut. Mm hmm. With two shots of espresso and a it's chocolate not espresso, drizzle. It's espresso. And chocolate drizzle. Hi, can I get one large iced hazelnut coffee with two shots of espresso, please? And a chocolate drizzle. With chocolate drizzle? Yeah, that's a very special, okay? Okay. What? She's going to ask if they could do a special. You want two shots, right? Yes, two shots of espresso. What are you talking okay. about? I get that every day. And then uh, let me get a small regular let hot coffee with I seven cream that. and seven sugars in it. What okay. is it, your first day? And that's it. It'll be 6.30 for some Let me tell you, so you don't have to go ask your manager. Why did we yes, pay $4 you can yesterday? do it. Oh, is it the drizzle they charge you? Yeah, they charge me 39 cents for the drizzle. But it's not 39 cents, though. It's, it, it, it seems like How much was charged this today? more. Hold on. Let me go back. And what was our total today? Six something. Yep, it's more today. Can you tell me the prices on what we got? Because yesterday we got the same thing. It was only four something. But I didn't get chocolate drizzle yesterday. Oh, my God. Do you see this uh, The two coffees. One hazelnut and one the small one. Yeah, it comes up to 638. I know, but can I just wanted a breakdown, but just a breakdown of the price. Price coffee and the drizzle and the the ice coffee by itself is thirty nine. The added uh, drizzle is thirty cents, and then the mm -hmm. ice is one sixty. Yep. And the small coffee is a dollar. All right. Well, that was weird because yesterday you guys only charged me like four thirty nine. You got over on it yesterday. So telling yourself, why don't you? I don't give a shit. She was a rude bitch. They're gonna beep that out probably, but. I had to say it. She just seemed kind of rude and she shut the window like that. Look at her and look at me. Of course she's jealous. I just hate rude people. Thank you. I hate you too. rude people. It doesn't hurt to be nice. Like I tell you all the time. It doesn't hurt to say, hi, how are you today? I said How's hi your to day people. going? No, I know you do. I've taught you that. <laughs> you did not teach me that. Yeah, bullshit. <laughs> let, me, let me tell you people, she never used to do that shit. <laughs> It doesn't hurt to stop and say, hi, how are you? How's your day going? I'm surprised you didn't ask for, uh, to get whipped cream. I don't want Do you fucking have a trash cream. Do I look like a sissy? This was from yesterday. Can you throw it away? Can you throw that away? All right, go right. Pull up a little bit. Watch where I'll throw it. I'm going to give him my germs. Throw it right there on the curb. You won't take it. Fuck it. Throw it right there on the curb so you guys can come and clean it up. Since you didn't want to take fucking it. dick. The little peasants can go pick it up. No, that's bullshit. Like, they always do it. I see them do it all the time with people. Well, 
Look who I am. And they took that trash can away from outside, so where are we supposed to throw it at? Look at, okay, but look at me and look at him. What does it have to do with the price of tea in China, Monica? The color difference. He wishes he was this pretty. <laughs> Oh, what is wrong with everybody, man? Can't people just be nice in this world? What happened to being nice? What does that word mean? I want to go to. I want to go live in Mayberry. I want to go live on Mars. I want to live in Mayberry. Mayberry's Andy Griffith, man. Mars, Jupiter, ain't Neptune. Ain't no crime. The moon. So, anyways, listen to this. Let me finish the fucking goddamn motherfucking story, all right? So we we she so she wants me to wear one of this shit. One of what? This crap, this, this shit. So I, I get so mad, I look at her, and of course, you know, I have to talk back. I have to talk back. And I, and I no, look at her and I go, Monica. I look at her from all the way across the room and I go, do you want me to wear this? Because if I don't wear it, people are gonna start fucking dying in here. And there was like only four people, people. that were about 90 years old each. Yeah, sitting about 30 feet apart from each other. And I have a funny story about that, but. <laughs> so then, um, whatever. This woman said, okay, well, we're gonna, uh, you, my husband gets called in first. And he said he's gonna talk to the doctor and see if we could both be seen at the same time, or at least be together. Because to be honest with you guys, I have really bad, really, really bad anxiety. And I'm her bodyguard. When it comes to doctor's offices and stuff, I, I don't do well by myself. And I always have to have somebody with me, especially my husband, because there are times when my anxiety kicks in, I forget to ask all the right questions. So he does it for me. Not only that, you know, as long as we've been together, we've never done anything without each other. Like, we go everywhere together. We're not the type of husband and wife that, like... Who are you recording? I go out to the bar by myself, or she goes out to the bar with her friends, or no. If we go no, somewhere, we, we go, go together. Yeah, we go together. It's always been that way. And real quick, so... My husband goes in the back and then I, he, he says, I'm going to ask the doctor if he could be seen together. And this nosy other bitch at the front desk, she said, this nosy bitch at the front desk, she said, um, she had to chime in. I don't know why people have to chime in to conversations that, don't, that has nothing to do with them. I got it. And she... All the way from across the room, she tries to tell me why, and she says, well, we don't want the spread of this bleep, I'm not going to say the word, and I look at her and I said, we're fucking married, we live together, it makes no fucking sense, and then again she repeats the same thing, so I finally turn around and I go, you know what, we fucking have sex every night, and now you're fucking telling me that we're going to spread some shit together when we go in there, and uh, the, the two old men that were sitting there, they chuckled. They thought it was really funny. Um, that bitch didn't think it was too funny. So she mm -hmm. wanted to say something else, and I told her, I said, mind your own fucking business. Yep. If you know what's best for you, mind your own business. Like, what's up with customer service? All right, service? to be continued. Woman, we are at the post office. Take your pistol off your side. Let's go. We'll be right back. Now I am. Do it again. <laughs> Whoops. Take two. <laughs> that does not count. <clears throat> so tell the camera before I was not recording what you just said to me. I said smoke <clears throat> your fucking cigarette and drink your goddamn fucking coffee already. See how she treats me? It's not nice. She's like, aren't you going to record? I'm like, I was going to smoke a cigarette and drink my coffee Why is first. the camera like literally like right here? Where do you want it at? Right here? Do you have a goddamn fucking death wish? I must have. I married you. <laughs> oh, good one. Even my clients know not to fuck with me. I'm not your client. You're right. It's worse for you. You live with me. That's right. <laughs> Anyways. So after I put that bimbo in her place, she turned around and she said, that's too much information. When I told her that we're married, we can go in the back together to see the doctor together, because that's what we always have done. And I told her- We swap spit every day. <laughs> and I told her, I said, we have sex every fucking night. What the fuck are you talking about? Um, yeah, let's just say, um, Oh, he's, said, oh, look, that guy's 
things coming out of his door. Oh, you're going too slow now. His char his charger, his phone charger was hanging out his door. Ooh, let me see if I can catch up to him. Okay, ready? It's gonna get loud for a minute. You're gonna tell him? My wife scared the dog crap out of me. Are you out here making her pull over on the freeway, babe? Oh, I was helping her. Great. Now there's going to be a That's big okay. accident. No, she's she's going to get no, killed. No, no, she's her in, truck's going to get demolished. She's in a safe lane. The little kid that was in the back is going to fly out. <laughs> all because you had to pull her over on the freeway because her charger was hanging out the window, out the door. You Man, Monica. You scared the shit out of me stopping on the freeway to tell her. I'm like, what the? I was being a good person. Yeah, but babe, I love you to death, but you cannot stop on the freeway <laughs> just to tell someone something. Just because she slowed down doesn't mean you should have slowed down. I oh, had to came... slow down because there was a car in front of me. No. I was driving 10 miles you an hour like a grandma. You came to a complete stop and scared the dog crap out of me. It was not a complete stop. Yeah. Did you shit your pants? No. Nope. Do you need toilet paper? Nope. I didn't. Shark. <laughs> um, God, my life is exciting, isn't it? Always, there's always something going on. Yeah, like I you, envy those you're right. who have like you're a right. peaceful, quiet you're life. You're always Mine trying to like, kill us. Out. You're always trying to kill us. <laughs> if I wanted to kill you, you would have been dead by now. When we first met. Oh, God. In Orange County, there's a center divider. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it don't runs, say that story. <clears throat> it runs like. I don't know, 20 miles, you know, down the street, down the street. And it's literally like a, it's a center divider that's like a sidewalk that you can walk up, but it's higher up than the street. She was driving on two wheels on that and two wheels on the street for about four miles. And I'm like, hey, do you notice anything? She's like, no, what? Like, you don't notice anything about the car, about how we're sitting, how we're tilted, nothing. She's like, no, what do you mean? Tell I me. I drive just fine. She's I like, used to be a race car driver. She's like, no, what do you mean? Tell me. I had a me. sports car. Monica, you have two wheels up on the curb and two on the road. No, I don't. Boop, boop. Oh. Oops. Yeah. No, I didn't say, oh, I said oops. Yeah. And then I laughed. Um, but then it was like, Later Whoa, night. look at that building already they built. The red one? Yeah. What is that? I have no idea. It has an R. But it already got built like within a few look, months. R. You think they're gonna call it red? No. Look, it has the letter R on it. I know, I see it, but I don't know it. I don't know, it looks like an R. The motorcycle was like driving, bumping his music up right now. Russell that. Street, Rose Pre Oh, gotta love that building. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna cut that off. No, you're not. You better not. <laughs> you better um, damn not. Is it zoomed all the way back now? Zoomed all the way into the boogers coming out your nose. You guys have such a bad headache. So do I. But maybe the coffee will make us feel better. No, but look I hope so. Look at this so. grandma. Look, 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 look. You gotta yeah, show this. Yeah, she was driving like you were. Look. 20 miles an hour on a freeway. 35 miles an hour on a freeway. Okay, so why are you behind her? There's no one in front of her. Go around her. Oh my goodness gracious. Night turn signals. What the fuck? Oh, uh, for sure she's drunk. No, 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 no. Like, I like old people, I love my grandma and grandpa, but I'll tell them the same damn thing. Turn in your keys when you're driving 30 miles an hour on the freeway, or stopping <laughs> on the middle of the freeway, you should turn in your I keys. I did not stop. You know what, it's, it is true though, you guys, because with my grandpa, my grandpa, this is, this is, this is how fucked up his driving was, okay? They stole his car. We stole his car. Yeah, I know. That's what I just We said. stole his car and made it seem like somebody else stole it. So my grandfather used to drive down the street. There was a little park where he used to live at. God rest his soul. And he would like literally leave the car running, forgetting to turn the car off and turn the ignition off and take the keys. So he would literally like park the car 
and then jump out and then go and hang out with his little backgammon playing buddies. Um, and then he would literally, he would go on stop signs, he would go at red lights, Leave his and then car he door would open. stop, and then he would stop at a green light. Like, my, he was like ass backwards. Um, so one day, we followed him to the park, and one of my family members jumped into his car and took off. <laughs> and we made it seem like we, you know, someone else stole his car. And that was the end of it. He never drove after that again. But yeah, it was scary. And then he had the balls to tell me to put both hands on the wheel and I would drive with one hand. Or no hands. Ooh, that's the way to get coffee, guys. You go to McDonald's, you get the hazelnut. <clears throat> you have them add two shots of espresso to your iced express. coffee. It's espresso, not espresso. espresso. And then uh, some chocolate drizzle, and uh, you got yourself a coffee there, buddy. I got my fucking nails done yesterday, finally. But we had to wear a mask there, too. Hey, we don't use that word. Which one, mask or social distancing? I quit. I'm confused. Look, look, I just parked the car. Right, look, look, show, show where I just, I put my car in park. I'm done. Uh-oh, this guy, I can't, I can't hear In it. and out. Nope. In yeah. and out. That's what the oh, hell. No, look. Is all about what, man? This guy's asking for me. So what? Let him ask. Why are you being such a meanie? Why are you recording in and out? Maybe he's hungry. Unless they sponsor me, you're not recording. Let's see what he's doing. Dude, I already gave money to like three I homeless know. people I yesterday. Know. You did good. And, and he this looks guy, like he yeah, this work. guy Look. definitely could work. You could definitely You're work. Telling, let's see if you want to say hi to the camera. Mm -mm. Yeah, he's a youngster. He doesn't want to say no, hi. No, they usually don't. Let's see. See, yeah, when you start recording, they, they won't, come, they won't come to you. So when you're like sitting at the light and they come walking up to each car, just pick up your video camera and point it at them, and I guarantee they won't come up to your car. Or your phone. No, but you give a lot of people money. That, that's cool. I like that. I like. I'll tell you a story she did the other day. So we came out of Roberto's and there was this dude that looked like he was probably a druggie. But probably. whatever. Whatever. He and was all tweaked out. He's like, uh, can I wash your windows for a couple bucks? And I'm like, no, right away. <laughs> and my wife's like, no, because I said no. And then we started walking and I could tell just the way she was, she like walked really slow and like she kept turning her head back and then she stops and she's like, I have to give him something. No, we don't. Come on, let's go. We already said no. She's like, no, something, something's telling me I have to, I have to. I don't know. It was like this nagging feeling. like. So just... she turned around and gave him a $5 bill and said, here, take this, go get yourself a taco or something and don't worry about washing our windows. And he was very uh, appreciative of that. Oh, bless you, child. Bless you. Yeah. But yeah, no, like... remember he said, he's like, oh, cool, I love you. Remember? I love you guys or some weird thing like that. What did I say? Don't smoke it all at yeah, once. Yeah, don't smoke it all at once. Yeah. Don't I mean, shoot it all at once. You know, but here's, here's, drugs, here's but how I think about it. I don't support druggies. Don't get No, me I don't support I, druggies I either. But here's how I feel. If you're homeless and you're on the street, I'd rather you be honest. Like, there's some guys that have signs that say, hey, I need beer. Why lie? And I'd we did. We bought yep. cases of beer for people. Before. Listen, man. I understand some of these homeless people that are on. The, hold on. I'm being alerted. It well, must be five o'clock. <laughs> must be five o'clock. Where's my phone? And I forgot what I was talking Give about. Give me the camera. There you go. Uh, nice burp. Why'd you do that? That's gross for a lady. I don't know where the fucking phone went. <laughs>
look, she likes that word so much she wants this sticker on her car. That's not very nice to do to your fans. Bullshit. The new bullshit menus. They don't have my New York steak and they don't have my shrimp cocktail. I'm pissed. Like it's so depressing going to your favorite restaurant. and not be able to order what you want. Like they limit the food that they're gonna give you. I think it's bullshit. Got your ass. Mm -mm. Ooh, take a picture of my this. Is it bad? Does that look good? Oh my goodness. You want to get moved? How are they getting moved over that? Jack and I got this. At the bottom of the video and the comments, you guys tell me what would you have picked from here? I'm curious, so I know what would be good for next time. Good Cheers time. to everybody. Yes. Getting rid of the ass virus. To America becoming normal Did you really again. Have to say that word? To America becoming normal again. And for everybody's health and safety and and for my sanity. That looks like a double. A pretty big shot. It's hot. Well not for you, but I meant normal people. For me, normal is like up here. I was just thinking that. Alright, cheers. Down it, down it, down it, down it, down it, down it. I knew it was a double shot. So we had you can't make me laugh. You can't make me laugh when I'm taking a shot. Okay, now I have to pee. This table that's uh, in front of us, they, the woman has a stand problem. Can't keep her eyes off of me for some reason. And then her husband just tapped the waiter's butt. It's a little uh, weird. That, that one's on the key, on the thing. Swing. The swing. Yeah, I like their swings. Got two swings. I'm missing a bird. No, they're all oh, there. they're all there. That one's hiding. All right. Hi. So their names are Fred, Ethel, Lucy, and Ricky. Can you guys guess what show that's from? If you can, let me know in the comments below. Fred, Ethel, Lucy, and Ricky. 
so we got these little babies right now on the way home. I know I literally have a zoo at home. I'm going to be opening up my own petting zoo. Wait a second. Where are my crickets? Um, in the bag. Right. Um, so we're going to be putting them in this. Two lizards in there. I know. Where's there. the anolis? There they are. These are little tiny anolis. And today they're getting some tree frogs with them. Yep. We're going to release them. Oh. Woo! There goes one. Jumpy, jumpy. Oh. There goes the other. Oh, they're so cute. And this, they do get along with the anolis. That's why I got them. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment. Click that join button next to the subscription. My birds are louder than me, so I have to yell. <laughs> they hear you talking, they want to talk. They get you. louder. And then become a member. Your subscription, your membership will help out a lot. My birds want to say something. What? What? Oh, yeah? And then what happened? If you're going to the bedroom, can you take the two pistols in there? Yeah. And then what happened? Oh, now you guys want to be quiet? Are you going to let me talk? Anyways, your subscription means a lot to me. Your monthly subscription that helps out. Helps me travel. See, every time I talk. Every time I talk, they get louder. Alright, love you guys. Love their bird bath. They love their bird oh, yeah, bath. their bird bath. Cage needs to be cleaned out again. I just cleaned it. They poop so much. They do. Years. They poop a lot. I just cleaned it two days ago. It's a pretty big cage they have. Yeah, but anyways, love you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.